Dope. Jumping straight into this. We are going to town and city. I mean, sorry, uh, Smashville. You lied to me. I did lie to you. I'm a little disappointed. And a lot of times you're going to see um, Lucas or Sun kind of spacing out with those uh, yeah. <laughs> side Bs, the PK fires, and kind of like pushing backwards so he stays safe. Of course, if Prince Rawin knows he's going to go for these, he's going to use side B and it'll reflect straight back in Lucas' face. But uh, Prince Rawin does not actually play very defensive. He plays yeah, a he's, super he's aggro. Yeah, super aggro. Huge mix up game. He really uses Bear and Dash oh. Attack to its like full effect. Oh, yeah. With the invincibility, he's just like, nah. Yeah, because he knows that those moves will not clank or trade. So he, be able to just use those. And then right here. If, if he sees an opportunity to do a down air, he'll get it almost instantly. Nice, nice bear. Also, if you guys didn't know, a lot of times he'll rely on finding those grab opportunities. Ooh, that was weird. Like, was super the weird. hitbox didn't come out. Yeah, he'll find those grab opportunities, and then he'll look for an up air or a forward air. And that opportunity he was looking for most likely an air dodge. After this set. Go after this game. All right, so we're going to see back throw. Nice, oh, nice left throw. back there. And only 38%. Like, this is a pretty hefty lead. The thing about Prince Raman is he's an extremely technical player. Extremely technical. But he doesn't um, go for things he knows he's not going to get. He's one of the safest players I know of who will kind of keep going on with the technicalities. But sometimes when someone else um, kind of overwhelms him, I've seen him struggle. Uh, it gets players like Wizrobe and Dyer. See, there was a down throw dare I was talking about. Yeah. And now Prince Rom is just trying to get on some percent, but Lucas is doing really well, and Sun is just kind of building up this percent, getting in. Nice See, air Sun, dodge. Sun is doing really well on the aggressive. He just really needs to, like, do it more. <laughs> Yeah. Like, normally he's spacing, like, with PK Fire, and he's not on the aggressive very much unless he's down. Oh, and then he does no. things like that. All right, I'm going to hand off the mic to Asmodeus. Someone actually get a commentate in this game. Go, buddy. All right, what's up, guys? I just took a nap for, like, an hour. It was fantastic. Wait, where did you take a nap? In your car? In my car, yeah. <laughs> Dang, dude, that's hard, bro. I can't take a nap in my car. I always get, like, sweaty and hot, and then I wake up all days and confused. Jumping into this, game two, we see Sun and uh, uh, Palutena going straight back to Smashville. Now, Asmodeus, have you ever seen this matchup before? This particular matchup, I have not. But these are both Orlando players, correct? Yes, they are. So I assume... This has happened multiple times in the past. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wow. I've never <laughs> seen him go for a counter in my life. <laughs> and as you can see, it's not very yeah, good. <laughs> I know, it's one of the worst counters in the game, probably. Now, I, Prince Ramen, he got the up air that time, but the first time he down threw, and Lucas DI'd in. And when he DI'd in, he knew he would get the most percent and the most follow ups out of uh, Nair. And after the Nair, he was able to find that up air. Because up air would not have killed at that percent. But the higher and higher you get, the faster and higher it will kill. It's a smart character knowledge there. That's right. Nice fishing with that forward air. Now this might be a gimp. Dang. Wow. And, and that was that's, hype. That's the match, I guess. <laughs> that was super hype, honestly. Dang. <laughs> Son, I don't think he could have done anything in that position. Um, 